All right, so with this one, um, I was up against a spy gear deck, and I kind of just had a. It was. It's not the hand. It becomes really good, or it becomes better once you have macro in your hand. So any bad hand can be good with macro, pretty much. But I flip over expansion immediately, just so I can have a setup for next turn, and also banish material for arsenal. If you play Spiral Resort, um, so Spiral actually um, relies on the graveyard. So right here, he guessed, he ordered the top cards of my deck, and then right here, he guessed Trap Card. So this, um, it took me a while, kind of like to think about what I should have done, but basically, I, I noticed he declared Trap Card. Then this guy, he declares like a card, so obviously he's gonna choose a Trap Card the order the top of my deck and he's gonna try and destroy cosmos because they need their graveyard right so I flipped up mutants cry to return cards back to my deck and it shuffles my deck so now the top card of my deck is no longer a trap card and it became a spell card which he called incorrectly obviously because he originally ordered it to be a trap and then he just drew, did that, and then he eventually gave up, but I thought that was super sick. Okay, and this was, um, let's see who this was up against, I forget, oh yeah, Sword Soul. So usually with this one, the Floodgate that works best is, there can only be one, he shows us Blackout, which is pretty bad for us. And I was hoping that he would discard Blackout with his strategist, but I know he revealed his Ashuna earlier, so... That's not gonna happen. Goes into Brown into Fleur, and yeah, so he does all this into another monk, and he adds back Ashuna, and he sets Black out, and I believe another face down. Oh, oh Jesus! Yeah, he sets down three face downs. One is a blackout. So my first thing I have to do is play Shifter. So that's what I do, hoping he negates, but he has a called by I guess so he calls by he called buys me so now we know he has a blackout and one mystery card and the card that I want to resolve the most in my hand is Raigeki I would say I would probably want to resolve Raigeki so in order to do that I would have to bait out with unfortunately with I this is the bait Eteli is gonna be the bait this time so we're gonna play Eteli and I'm, I'm gonna summon this guy, and again, I don't activate his searching effect, um, because I know he likes to react. If his chaining's off, or if his chaining's on auto, I believe he doesn't get the prompt to do it on summon. So he didn't, um, so that's what I did. I hit no, so I don't, I don't search, but instead I do get the tribute effect, and I banish macro, which... It's either macro or expansion to run into either Barone or Grandmaster because the um, blackout can't target Arsenal. So I needed to summon Arsenal. But he negates it. So he's like, okay. Card advantage. He took I, I took out two of my two of my own cards. That's a pretty good negate right there. But I had the Raigeki and he, he can't blackout it. He can't negate it with this guy. So he just forced to destroy everything. So now we're pretty even in cards, um, he, he just has like two more cards than me, but I kind of made the cards even again. So I set expansion, kind of just to set up for next turn. He summons his Ashuna, and he attacks, he doesn't have anything, he, except for Blackout. But the thing with Blackout is you have to target, um, you have to target two cards your opponent controls. Since I only have one card, he can't flip up Blackout here. So that's why he didn't use it, because he, he literally can't. It requires to target two cards on the opponent's field. Now he uses it, but I do still get my search. So I search the level 3, and now it's my turn, so I get to draw. It's an extra card. Anti-spell, I that doesn't matter. So I summon my 3, I get my Mutant's Cry, I banish my Beast to summon my other Beast, and then he gives up right there. 